What's good people and welcome along to my latest video. Now quickly before we start, take a look at this painting I found in one of the caves and tell me what you see. Anyway, for those that have watched my video a few months ago on the King Arthur's cave, you may have briefly seen this in the video. Now at the time of my first visit, this particular cave was fenced off with the sign saying it was closed for the winter, which naturally got my attention straight away. Now this is the only one out of many caves and tunnels in the area, fenced and locked off. And as you can see, I've now been back recently and it's now accessible. So let's see why this is fenced off, shall we? And just a quick shout out to my mate Dan here, who tagged along, because without him, I don't think I would have gone in by myself. And I highly doubt Paige and Octavia would have either. So as you can see here, it's actually open but it's still only a small opening which begs the question as to why and here's Dan getting in as well just so you can sort of hopefully see that even like even like I say it's open but it's quite hard to get into either way and yeah my main focus here was to try and find out why this was the only one fenced off and why it's only accessible in the summer was it due to safety some sort of wildlife like bats or something did it descend into the dark abyss now it certainly extends quite a way back and possibly more into the hillside than any of the other tunnels or caves that i visited in my previous video and as we walk along here hopefully you can make out the almost rectangular shape in the tunnels showing me that it isn't natural or if it was, man has come along and widened the tunnel himself. Was it an old mine as opposed to a cave maybe? But if that's the case, then what are the mining? And um, why doesn't it appear on any of the maps as a mine? And <laughs> why call it a cave? Because it's actually called Lord's Wood Cave or something like that. And from what I can gather, this place is made up of a couple of kinds of limestone and some sandstone as well. That's according to the BGS, which is the British Geological Survey. So, what was this place? It looks like a tunnel or a mine, but it's called a cave. It doesn't look natural at all. It's fenced off and locked up for x amount of months in the year and then open for the rest with no mention anywhere as to why it's the only one out of numerous that is fenced off now it can't be about safety because the other tunnels have drops and whatever else and there's no mention anywhere about the dangers or the safety of this place now could it possibly be a bat cave and yeah, that, that's possible due to the amount of droppings that we saw. But then, at the same time, we encountered bats in pretty much every tunnel, cave, opening, whatever you want to call them, at this place. And there's no mention of bats roosting here, like I've seen at other places I've visited. So yeah, it just doesn't make sense why. Anybody care to take a guess at all? I mean seriously though, I've tried to look at it from all angles, but nothing is making sense to me. And it's not even that easy to get to either. And you could easily miss it if you aren't looking. Now, I'm not sure if I show many of the markings here, because I really was confused by the place. But it did look like a the marks of a pneumatic drill in places. Now let's take into consideration the nearby King Arthur's cave is reported to be over 25,000 years old. Yet this tunnel and many of the others appear to show these drill marks. Now were they using drills 25,000 years ago? Or has man been in more recently with the drills? In which case, why? What were they doing? What were they looking for? 
the game, it brings me back to why this is the only one I found that is fenced off. And like I've said, there's no mention as to why. It even forks off and goes different directions that seem to go on for ages. Now we did take a left down one of them and walked for what felt like a while before we decided it was getting a little cramped and turned back to venture further in the other direction. And yeah, I have to say, it was so nice in these caves. I think outside it was like 26 degrees with little to no wind. So yeah, being quite deep into the hillside, it was quite refreshing in the cool attempts. And we certainly felt it as soon as we got back outside and was quickly running back into the caves to get out of the heat. We saw quite a lot of, I think, stalactites as well, it indicating to us that these places had been around for a very long time. They were even forming in the holes that appeared to be drilled out if that it doesn't have your mind wondering, I don't know what will. Like I've said throughout this video, I just don't understand why this one is fenced off and closed off for a period of time every year. It's like the rest here, so what makes this one so different? What makes it so special? So looking forward to Kimber now, and it looks like it's either going to be the 24th or the 25th of June, or the 8th or 9th of July. So can those that are coming along let me know which they'd prefer, but I probably will be going with the latter just to give yourselves more time. Now I will be making the day as action packed as possible, showing you as many different locations throughout Kimber as possible, but then if you want to see more, we can always camp out and see more the following day because I believe this is going to be a weekend. And yeah, there's just plenty to see in the area as you've seen from the videos I've shown you. So if you do get the chance, I do urge you all to come along and I welcome you all to come along. Anyway, stay tuned for a lot more. And I thank you all for your continued support. It makes me enjoy what I love doing all the more. As always, I've been Nikki B, and until next time.